so I already put the these old sailing rigs down and they are really soft it, they feel like they were plastic and don't know if you see that you could move them like they were plastic come on get out this is a steel ring I guess you can put them either way but there is a small marking I don't know if you see that put them on top Put the first one into the groove here and then slide it slowly in. Okay. And then I will place them that they are 180 degrees from each other closed. So that's the challenge to close the rings. Okay, you have to pull them the one side innermost and then push the other side over. And then you can clip them, them together. Good, I will position them 180 degrees from each other. Okay, that looks okay. Good. Now we'll lubricate the shaft. Put here some Vaseline, like it's recommended in the manual. They say lubricate all new seals with petroleum jelly, not grease when reassembling. Yes, and that's what we are going to going to do. These rings will be lubricated with transmission oil yes
fit the both parts together. Together. That's it. Refit the snipe ring. Don't lose patience. Don't lose your patience. I love you. <laughs> Son of a bitch.
Okay, it's in. I hope everything's all right, but I think so. Okay, next stage is Replacing the O rings of the spooler valve. I already got them. And put the new gasket on on top of this input housing. And bolt it on, and I guess that's it. And the thing should work again. Hopefully. No, it's tight and nothing drips out. But I guess the main problem was the o ring of this polar valve. But we will see. Okay, anyway. So, we got here now the multi power spooler valve. Um, this one is the valve lever and here is the o-ring which I guess was which was the main issue of this leaking input shaft housing we'll replace this and then I will put that the thing back together uh, what you have to do to remove this shifting piece here is remove this bolt here which is inside. Inside there is a feather and down on this feather there is this little ball. This one here. Yeah? And in that, in the reverse order, you have to reassemble that. So, spooler valve is on. Fitted a new gasket on this surface here. A new o-ring and here a new o-ring and I guess I found the main problem of this is the o-ring which breaks off when I lifted it off with the uh, screwdriver and I don't know if you see that it's not focusing right but the o-ring it's a special o-ring it's 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 not a a common used o-ring with a flat surface this one has actually a lip inside and outside inside there is actually the lip but at the other side the lip has worn off but anyway I guess that was the main main oil leak issue of, of this input housing because the shaft seals were not so bad, but either way, at this stage of, of uh, disassembly, it's a must to replace all all the old gaskets and seals. Okay, I will now put this input shaft housing back onto the transmission, and I have to fit. There are still two ceiling rings, cast iron ceiling rings, uh, which have to be assembled onto the main input shaft of the transmission. 
and then I will fit this input housing with this tooling here onto the input shaft because you have to put this pipe on onto the main uh, input shaft. I guess I will lubricate the surface and then I will put the housing onto the shaft.